Congratulations to Memphis. Um, they were the better team today. A lot of credit. They have a lot of really good players, a lot of speed on the field. and uh, But I'm proud of the way our guys competed. We just did some things. Penalties hurt us again. Missed tackles hurt us again. And um, ah, so close. I know we did a lot of really good things offensively, but just so close to uh, to a couple other things there that maybe could have been the difference. But, you know, got to give our kids credit. You know, it's a six-point game there. We certainly, you know, feel like we got a shot. We got the momentum and, you know, game well breaks another run and stuff. So that kind of was, you know, kind of uh, put a dagger in us there. But, uh, you know, all in all, like I said, our kids played hard. I think they got a really good team. And, uh, you know, they combination of guys that can really run and they're physical at the point of attack. And, uh, you know, I, I think their defense is good. I know we had close to 600 yards, but their defense is, I think, is good. And, uh, you know, they force you some problems because they have speed. And then when they get you in passing situations, they got guys that can really rush the passer now. So, you know, we'll regroup. We got a short week. And uh, Texas State actually had a week off, too, to, you know. So we'll have a short week here. And, uh, and uh, you know, we'll see what our guys are made of because this is a really short week. And going, you know, to uh, San Marcos on a short week and playing a good football team. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, we bandaged Batiste, you know, if you're wondering. Two critical play mistakes on kicking game two. Um, I'll have to go back and see it, but we're actually set up pretty good for that middle bunt. It looked like perfect execution of what the guy did. And, you know, so I give him credit for that. And then you know, we misread the punt, uh, the one that was in the air and rolled all the way down the seven yard line. But, uh, you know, Brandy sprained his ankle in practice Tuesday, and we thought, you know, he was close, but went out for pregame and just couldn't really make it. Uh, we, we held Chase Day out. I'm hoping we'll get him back uh, tomorrow and get him ready to go. But uh, Laurent Shaw did, you know, did play some tonight. So uh, hopefully we can get him back to full speed as well. Questions? Think about it. I mean, it seems like it's another one of those games where, like you said, you're so close. You're yeah. Right there. Is that the most disappointing thing? Is it? <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, it is disappointing. I'm disappointed for the players. I thought we played really hard and uh, I thought we kept battling. You know, it's just kind of frustrating a little bit with the penalties. And, you know, it's, that's two weeks in a row now. You know, we were going pretty good with them. You know, wasn't really a problem. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's it's a wide variety. Hands in the face, both offense and defense, you know, yada, yada, yada. But um, anyway, I thought a couple of those hurt us early in the game. Uh, we actually made up for – for um, one of them, the double penalty we had, we actually ended up getting a first down on that one. The one that was like second and 30 something or whatever, we ended up actually getting a first down on, on that particular drive. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, our kids kept battling and stuff. We just, you know, uh, we score points. Uh, we just need to score a few more defensively. You know, got to tackle better, got to stop people. Absolutely. I thought that was big. And, uh, you know, just to keep it to right where, where it was at the half, you know, and stuff. And uh, But in the third quarter, again, you know, we stayed within striking distance. I mean, they took it down on the opening drive. Didn't they? Well, they got a field goal, you know, and we took it down and wasn't going to go for it. But then, you know, we had the five-yard penalty. And so was it the five-yard penalty? No, we lost yards on the play. We were actually two down. I told Cube, I said, hey, we're two down. So we ran the ball and lost three or four yards on the run. And I kind of got it to fourth and seven or eight. So I decided to kick it. And, you know, so we're kind of keeping pace. But um, like I said, we went through a stretch there, about three series, four series. I thought we played really good defense. And then that's when we got held twice on fourth down. You know, we just can't. I was telling Tag while I go on the, uh, on the radio, we just got to match it, you know, to where we're playing really good on both sides of the ball at the same time. And, uh, yeah, because I think we have some ability on both sides, but we just got to put it together. Thoughts on the offensive line? I mean, other than Bobby, everybody else was shuffling around today, but to put up the kind of numbers you did, it seemed like your blocking wasn't an issue. No, it wasn't. I thought that um, one of the sacks, with the one that he just came scot free, we signaled it wrong. You know, so that that's our fault. I mean, I. I heard immediately when they sent in the play or whatever, we just couldn't get time. We couldn't get a timeout fast enough, but we actually slid the line away. From, you know, the line slid to the back, and the, nobody even touched the end. I mean, he liked to kill Caleb and stuff. So I, I know that one was was certainly wasn't their fault. And then, uh, you know, but that's I, I think they got good players. I love 55. Love him. I love one. I mean, those guys can play, and then get up the field and 
you know, our goal, our job was, and, and you know, we really did that in a sense because we're talking about it as a staff, and I kept telling, you know, the, our offensive staff, we have to sustain drives. You know, we're not going to come in here and, and, and try to milk the clock and shorten the game, but we have to sustain drives. And, you know, if you had told me before the game, if I'm reading this right, we ran 89 plays and they ran 60. If you'd have told me that, then I would have thought we'd have won a game. You know, that's because what I was concerned about, what Memphis has been doing to people, is it, it's flipped. You know, and if you give them, you give them that many snaps with that good of players and stuff. So that's that part of what we really wanted to do. We wanted to be able to sustain drives, and uh, we ended up getting a field goal on one of the drives. And I know the, you know the coaches were disappointed on the deal, and I said, hey, you know, we got three points. We ran off about seven and a half minutes on the clock. You know, that's that's fine. Let's go be positive, and you know, we'll move on from there. But uh, you know, it's I think I think some guys are playing really good. When you look at you know, I'm looking at the at the sheet here and. Uh, you know, Josh Johnson looked like he had over 100 yards again. Caleb had over 100 yards. You know, Josh Peterson made big plays again. You know, when you just look at it, I mean, guys are – I think guys are really playing hard and, uh, you know, and playing good. We just – as you said, we got to get over the hump. Coach, I know you're – over the last two weeks you've played good teams, but how important is it to figure out ways to stop giving up so many big rushing plays? Oh, it's really critical, no doubt. And uh, – you know, yes, you were right. We're playing good teams, playing good players. But, uh, you know, tonight, I think unlike Iowa State, I thought we were in position to make a lot more plays than what we made. And, you know, we'll have to go back and look. But uh, I, don't, I, mean, I know they're good. Running backs are good. So, But still, I mean, if you're going to beat people like that, there were, there were a couple of plays where we had them. I thought we, you know, we had the, we had game well, and he breaks out of it and, you know, ends up getting yards. And even if – you know, if he didn't get a big one, then he's just extending drives and he's giving them more plays and stuff. And, uh, you know, we felt like I felt like we had opportunities to get off the field. And they just kept making plays and stuff. So give them credit. Like I said, they got really good players. I, I love the way they play. Uh, Coach Norvell and I talked for a long time before the game. I told him I, I love what he's doing with his football team. You know, I think it's uh, they're physical, a lot more physical now than what they were. And uh, I think defensively. I think they're, you know, they're on a great track, what they're doing defensively. And uh, I just like the way they play. I mean, you know, special teams wise, like I said, that kid executed that little bunt onside kick about as good as I've seen. I mean, you know, he recovered 11 yards from the deal. And, you know, right at the time we had two guys getting there, uh, we held them at that one point or whatever and left hash. I mean, he, you know, he drills a 50 yarder. Like, I mean, I'm talking about dead down the string, you know, of the deal and stuff. So, you know, any time that offense, defense, and you can combine that with special teams, uh, they got a good football team. And uh, and I told I told uh, Mike that they got a really good football team, and I think they're very well coached and very well disciplined. So, wish them nothing but the best. You look at Caleb tonight. I mean, that's a that's a, that's a vintage uh, college yeah. Caleb performance. But the biggest thing too was not just the plays he made, you know, whether it be long passes or getting out of the pocket and running, but all of those drives, he, those plays he extended, just running around in the pocket. He certainly extended some plays, and. Um, you know, which was huge, and then I think to uh, versus what they were doing, we felt like the the the, uh, the zone read had to be a big play of what they're doing, and uh, it was kind of you know what we tried to do anyway when we looked at it. We really liked 55; we liked him, and so if you notice, we kept trying to get it over to him and just run zone read, and take him out of the game. You know, ain't nobody got to block him and stuff. So that was part of the game plan, I think, going in because uh, you know we were. We were concerned about him because he's been making plays. I mean, this is a football team that held Ole Miss to 30-something yards in the first half, you know. So I think they got some good, some good things going defensively. Josh Peterson just keeps doing Josh Peterson yeah. things. Two touchdowns, 82 yards, and even got in with a 33-yard pass. Yeah, we've been, uh, you know, that that's one that's uh, been run now for shoot, I guess the last week of camp. You know, you just have plays like that that you run and. And uh, we needed a play. And so, uh, you know, Coach Kubik dialed it up. But I've been watching that for weeks now. You know, I mean, the guy can throw the football. I was just afraid he was going to overthrow him because he can throw it about 60 or 70 yards. I mean, he's a great athlete. I mean, he can just rear back. And, and I was just w was afraid that, you know, most of the practices he just overthrows them. I mean, he just throws it and stuff. But, I mean, he threw, threw a pretty good ball. Zach made a heck of a catch.